Hi everyone, this is Cyber713 and I am bringing you the park. Let's turn into game. Let's start. Ready to jump our scare. Yes. I started the game earlier to see how it runs, make sure it runs good. The park is never experienced best play that I've dark room where I have found this deals with such a matter of Oh, it's gonna mess with me. Um, if I ever go off webcam, I'm drinking my drink. Try to keep my whistle wet. Um, reason I'm not playing in the dark is so you can see me. <sighs> so, how is everyone today? I am okay. I am ready to go for this park. Experience this experience. Playing with a controller because I prefer the controller. My my hands cramp from the mouse. So yeah. If you hear me hitting buttons, then you will. Fun Tom presents. In my heart and mind. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. The park. The live park. Sorry, I lied a little Where's bit. Where's Mr. Bear? Sorry, barking. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Should I tattoo our arm? That ass, though. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Oh, tickets. What? What the hell is going on? She has some pencils on her arm. Do you see this shit? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Oh, yeah, Think about the last right. place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Yeah, the question is, how did he lock, run in if the doors were locked? Like, that one's locked, this one A. This one ain't now, but how did he run it if they were all locked? Zero cents, sir. Zero cents. I'm going in anyway. Callum, where are you going? Over here. Where are you? Callum, I told you to wait in the I car. This way. All right, the elevator. There's something hell, special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Callum! Oh 
Wait for mommy! This belongs to Calm. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. I wonder what this is. Yeah, I'm purchasing the land. Yeah, I don't read guys. So if you want to read that, go back and pause it. I don't. I don't read. I know I missed half the story that way, but I really couldn't read that anyway. My eyes are bad. Callum, come back here right now! That did not sound like Callum. Alright, Callum. Callum, where are you? Callum, stay where you are! Come on, Come mommy. back! Should I get on? Well, he just went in there, so let's go. I won't even get to him, though, but... At least I can keep an eye on him. It's just a swan ride. It should be Dolphin Stereo, right? It's a swan. We are going to a cave. It does a little touch here, it's pretty bright in there. As long as not if it pops out of the water, we're good. Look, my knee got sexy. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel, and a girl Name named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. What the hell is that there? Sorry about the dark and guys. What the, is that the next morning, the woodcutter leads Something the children into there. the forest. Sorry. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food oh, that shit. day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones Hi. behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves Bella. them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hell. 
Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Not too bad, sir. except for that guy back there. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. So far, it's very kid friendly, except for that. at my house an kids. old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you oh, very well. but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, puzzle, nothing to fear on. here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Old school about pedophile. Old school story about a pedophile. Oh shit. What was that? inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. See, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that and bad. then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch what? and ate her. That's not how the story went. When the fuck did that happen? Oh well, damn. See, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that scary, like... But that part's not really for a kid. What the? What the fuck? No, 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 no. Turn around, turn around. Wait, I just saw something pop out of there too. What the fuck? I went off this boat. I went off this boat. I went off this boat now. Now, don't you pop out. I went off this boat. I went off this boat. Off this boat. Off. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hold off. I don't like being vulnerable. Oh, thank you. Uh, please. Oh, thank God. Callum! What the? That was behind me. Hello? Hansel and Gretel. 
I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Helped out Those the poor story. children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Start again. Hello? <laughs> hey, you're on. He's pretty close. Another accident. This place. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Catch me, Mommy. I don't like the vibration of this shit. Oh, teddy bear. Uh, I don't know. Do you read that if you want? I don't read it. Right. I think that's maybe his teddy bear. Never mind, that's not his teddy bear. Out there. Speak to me. Where's my boy? This way. If you guys spot anything I don't spot, leave a message a like uh no, yeah, comment in the comment section below if I miss something and I'll go back and rewatch it and I'll go, whoa. Come out, sweetie! Very... Callum? <laughs> this old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Holy shit, some did kill a whole bunch of kids. That's fucked up. Uh, so if you guys wanted to read that whole thing, pause the video. Guess we go on this one. Not much to share about that. So I can't get all when I'm moving. It's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. Where did you go? Oh, I remember this. Come out, sweetie. Alan, where did you go? I can't get on while it's moving. It's still moving? I hit the fucking slow down button like eight times. There we go. 